Hey everybody, it's your good buddy 650 Eep here tonight. I'm in my garage and apologies on the lighting if it's a little dim. I am working on a, the lighting situation in my basement where I keep most of my motorcycles. Once that's uh, set up, we will have uh, proper lighting and uh, it will look a lot better. But for right now, I want to address a popular question that I get asked a lot and that is, how do I clean my motorcycles? I'm going to demonstrate how I clean a filthy bike by cleaning my R1M that I rode recently and got caught in the rain. First off, I rarely, if ever, use soap and water on my motorcycles. The reason being is that the products that I use, they work very well, and uh, these bikes aren't very big, so you really don't need, in my opinion, to douse them with soap and water. Uh, to get them clean. What I like to use when the bike is filthy to clean it off is Honda spray and polish cleaner and this is what I use to get the grime off the bike. Once the grime is off the motorcycle I then like to polish the motorcycles with Dr. Beasley's The Final Finish. So without further ado this is all I do man I just spray the Honda polish on the motorcycle. I like to do it in sections at a time so I'm going to work on the tank right now. Spray it on. I take a clean, fresh terry cloth. I do reuse my, my uh, terry cloths as long as they don't have oil and as long as they've never touched the ground. I will use them, wash them, and use them again. So without applying very much pressure at all to the motorcycle, I'll take the, that side and then I'll flip it over on the other side, the dry side, and go over it once more. I also want to talk to you guys about uh, some of the new hyper bikes that have been introduced at the ECMA bike show, which is in Italy, I believe. The first bike I want to talk about is the beautiful Ducati 1299 Superleggera. <laughs> Awesome, awesome motorcycle, and Ducati did a very good job with the promo video for that bike. I like it a lot. Um, actually, I loved it until I saw the BMW HP4 race. Now this bike grabbed me by the gills because number one, it has wet carbon fiber and I think that just looks a zillion times better than matte carbon fiber which is being used on the Superleggera. <laughs> So, another motorcycle that I enjoyed uh, taking a look at there at ECMA was the 1290-2017 Super Duke R. <laughs>
that has to be the absolute best promotional video I've seen for a motorcycle in a long time. And uh, I just absolutely love that motorcycle. I know you guys are like, why am I still going over the front fairing here? It's because I'm a little distracted by talking to you about this stuff. And also, um, this thing just looks really gorgeous. You probably can't see it very well on the GoPro. All of the carbon fiber when you clean it. Anyway... The 1290 Super Duke is a bike that somebody just basically addressed for 650E, but it has everything that I'm looking for in a motorcycle. Keyless start, cruise control, TFT display, auto blipper, um, clutchless upshifting as well, um, rider modes, cruise control, LED headlights, single-sided swing arm, beautiful colors, I mean, just the Super Duke is everything, man. It's awesome. I'm definitely interested in that motorcycle. Uh, I had an opportunity to ride my good buddy Steve's uh, 2016 1290 Super Duke Special Edition. This thing is a freaking steering dampener. <laughs> and I have yet to put the full video up for that but that was a heck of a ride. Um, the only problem I had with his Super Duke was the steering dampener. I don't think it had one, and uh, that was god-awful, but the new one has a steering dampener as well. The next thing I want to do, I'm going to just skip along here. After, let's just say I've cleaned the whole thing off, I'm going to apply Dr. Beasley's, and I like to, I like to get a, a new terry cloth for that, spray it on the cloth. Yeah. Wipe it on. And then I flip the cloth over, and then I kind of buff it until it's going. On the H2, you, you'll be able to see streaks and all that kind of stuff. And you may, if you're meticulous like me, you'll be buffing it for, for, for a while there. So those are the two products that I use to clean my motorcycles. Honda Polish and Dr. Beasley's The Final Finish. And of course, fresh virgin terry cloths. The last thing I like to do is take some paper towels and I like to use a glass cleaner in this case a Windex multi-surface with vinegar and for this I like to clean my mirrors and the windscreens and the gauges or in the R1M's case the TFT display I really just like foggy or smeared mirrors I don't like it kind of ruins my riding experience. One thing I forgot to mention is that after every ride, when I bring the bike home, but while the chain is still hot, I like to lube it with PJ1 Blue Label. And so I'll just uh, put it on the rear stand as soon as I get home and just uh, attach the straw to this and spray it while rotating the wheel around on the chain to, to keep the chain lubed. Thank you for the subscribers that suggested that I make a video on that. I think it was a great idea. Well, that's going to wrap it up for me today here in my garage. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button that's usually flashing at the very bottom right-hand side of the screen. New videos are uploaded every single week. Stay tuned for more amazing videos. And as always, thank you so much for viewing. We'll see you soon.